when you have a bad day give up go home and sleep fuck it try again tomorrow not every bad day can become a good day some days are fucked and cannot be unfucked it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up So you want to be a truck driver? It'd be fun, they said. Yeah, okay. What's up there, Wolfpack? Y'all already know who it is. It's Lone Wolf Trucker, and I'm back with another video. I think I'm gonna title this video, Can't Win for Losing. That's how I feel at this very moment. Sitting on the side of the highway, I'm telling you, if it's not for the cheap freight, it's breakdowns, it's high fuel prices. Seems like the deck is just stacked against us drivers out here nowadays, but um, I'm stuck on the side of the highway, had a breakdown, actually hit some debris in the highway locked up my trailer and uh, I was lucky I was able to uh, get it off to the side of the road out of the traffic lanes but um, figured I'd make a video I got about a three and a half hour wait for the nearest um, well not the nearest but the, the quickest um, mechanic or whatever you want to call him to get out here and uh, and work on this trailer because I don't have any air hoses. I know some of you uh, get in my comments and say, oh, you should have some extra brake chambers, some extra air hoses, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I agree with you, you do have a point. But that's not gonna help me at this moment because I don't have none of those. I got tools on my truck, but I don't have parts. So I'm gonna be sitting here for a while waiting for somebody to bring the parts out here and uh, do the repairs. So like I said, I got about three and a half hours. Maybe they'll get here sooner, maybe they'll get here later. I am so screwed right now with what happened uh, earlier today. So not only am I not able to get my load, I'm gonna have to buy eight trailer tires. And I'm not a recap kind of person, so I ain't gonna be putting recaps on my trailer. That's an option, but it's really not an option. But I'm gonna have to put eight brand new trailer tires on my trailer because of that goddamn debris out in the middle of the highway 
that uh, basically put me out of service, took out my airlines and, my, and one of my brake chambers. Totally destroyed. So that's where I'm currently at right now. That's the state of, of this situation. I'm having to replace my tires. I'm gonna give you guys a look at them real quick. You guys tell me. Tell me if these are gonna pass DOT. Let's take a look. What you guys think? What you guys think there? That should pass DOT, right? We shouldn't have a problem uh, passing DOT, a full DOT inspection. What do you guys think? I think those are right. Let's take a look at these over here. What you guys think there, Wolfpack? I think those are still good. We got a little bit of uh, steel sticking out of there, but uh, I heard that's better for the for the traction. What do you guys think? Back here, we got some uh, some flat spots on that one, on both of these. A little bit of a uh, little bit of steel showing there. What do you guys think? I heard the steel showing through the tires give it give it some better traction, especially when uh, when the weather's starting to get a little cooler. We're about to head into fall, and then you know what's next is snow and, and ice and all that. I hear that steel basically turn your tires into it's like having uh, tire chains. What do you guys think? You guys think I could get away with these uh, trailer tires the way they are? might be an enhancement but all I could do is make jokes about this shit because uh, one of my mottos <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure I heard this somewhere before but it's just stuck in my head every time some bullshit like this happens you know whether it be a breakdown whether it be the shipper holding me in attention without paying me detention whether it's the, the consignee doing the same, whether it's the, the high fuel prices, whether it's the cheap freight, there's a saying that's always stuck to me since I got in trucking. I didn't come up with it, but uh, I definitely adopted the saying. In trucking, it can always be worse. Shit could always be worse. I could have a tow truck bill on top of all of this mayhem that I'm, I'm dealing with right now because I hit that uh, debris in the travel lane on I-30 in Texas and uh, you know if, if you guys ever had a brake chamber lock up that truck ain't going nowhere once it once it comes to a halt that's it it's done unless you are able to free up that that brake chamber and like I said, that's that's a that's a rough way to go. So I'm glad I was able to uh, get get my truck out of the travel lane. I was able to get it off to the side of uh, the highway, and uh, wasn't impeding traffic at least on the travel lanes. I, I actually pulled off on the on ramp, uh, so I was impeding the on ramp traffic. Uh, we had to get a a local uh, police officer out there uh, to shut down uh, that on-ramp which I'm sure a lot of people weren't too too happy about but um, it is what it is man I'm gonna have to buy eight trailer tires in order to get back on the road well today's been a, a very eventful day uh, it's pretty much over at this point. Had an incident this morning where I uh, hit some road debris on the highway on I-30 and uh, basically put me out of commission for the day. Just giving you guys a recap on what's going on. 
Uh, I had to get uh, four brand, well not four, but eight. All eight of my trailer tires I had to get replaced. Uh, Cause my trailer locked up on the highway. I hit that debris. And uh, once I hit that debris, it uh, basically uh, destroyed my brake chamber, uh, ruptured my, my air lines, and um, you know, caused my trailer brakes to lock up. Let me show you here real quick. So there we go. Got a new brake chamber. We got new fittings. Uh, the airlines are the same original airlines, but we got four uh, four brand new fittings and the brake chamber. And because the brake chamber and the airlines got damaged, it locked up my both of my axles in the in the trailer. And once that happens, uh, just smoke the tires up. And uh, basically six of the tires all the way down to the to the steel inside the tires into the, the radials into the steel and two tires uh, with flat spots on them so all eight of my trailer tires had to get replaced so as you guys can see we got brand new ones on here these are Bridgestone R123s Bridgestone R123s is what we got on here. And I got to put my my hats back on. Uh, my axles here. But uh, I'm going to get that done here in a minute. I uh, just want to give you guys an update on the current situation. So the trailer has been repaired. Uh, and this is a quite expensive repair. I ain't going to lie to you. Having all eight tires replaced is going to set me back quite a bit. Quite a bit going to be set back. So, being that these tires are retailing for about $750 a pop, you guys do the math on that. Uh, instead of putting this on my line of credit, I decided to go through uh, TSH. Uh, to get these tires replaced because they have a national account with Bridgestone. That's why I went with the Bridgestones uh, to get all eight of these uh, replaced and get the trailer repaired so I get back on the road. But definitely not happy about it. But at least with TSH, they got uh, some uh, national discount uh, with Bridgestone. So. Uh, should be quite a bit less than uh, the 750 retail per tire. So, $750 times eight. You guys do the math on that. I already did, but you guys can pull out the calculator and figure that one out. Quite expensive. Quite expensive. And as you guys can see, I'm still hauling sailboat fuel because I wasn't able to pick up my load uh, due to the unfortunate events that happened today so we got sailboat fuel on deck and uh, now I'm gonna be uh, hunting and scrambling to find another load uh, to replace the load that uh, I was unable to get due to the debris on the highway that caused my brakes to lock up and uh, damage my brake chamber and my airline so it's an unfortunate chain of events but that's where i'm at right now and i had to be honest you know after this repairs you know the repairs are done but now it comes the bill of having to pay for this all right we're talk we're talking thousands of dollars here to to uh you know to when this bill finally comes out like i said i won't have the final numbers on this bill until uh it goes through the national account of bridgestone to see what the final bill is going to be um but hopefully it's quite a bit less than 750 dollars per tire but either way still going to be thousands of dollars um 
you know, that I'm, I'm responsible for paying for uh, on this uh, future bill that's going to be uh, billed to me. And I got to tell you, it has me thinking, you know, with the current state of freight market and the way freight is, and, you know, it's real hard to, to make a profit out here. And when things like this happen, it, it blows your profit margins out of the water. Right now, I'm going to be in the hole. I'm not sure for how long until uh, this bill comes out, but I'm going to be in the hole. And uh, really has me thinking, is this worth it? Is it worth it being a lease op, owner op, running your own trucking business in the current state of the freight market that we're in and it ain't looking no better you know the freight ain't looking no better so i'm not one to make rational decisions on uh especially when it comes to business so but i'm be looking real hard at these numbers i already been looking at them uh hard already and uh it was looking bleak before i told you guys uh, in one of my previous videos that I, you know, decided to take a pay cut uh, because my LLC just can't afford to pay me uh, what it needs to be able to pay me uh, in the current state of the freight market right now. So I took a pay cut, which has already taken effect, by the way. Uh, it started this month, actually, September 1st uh, is when I started that. But now here we are with another major issue uh, that I gotta deal with. Uh, the expenses of these brand new tires on this trailer, especially when the tires were well from having to be replaced. It's just unfortunate, man. Like I said in my other video, it, you can't win for losing out here. Can't win for losing, and at some point, you gotta ask yourself, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it to be dealing with this bullshit out here knowing that the deck is stacked against you and you can't win so like i said i'm not one to make rational decisions based off emotion because right now the way i'm feeling and this is just truly being honest with you guys the way i'm feeling right now is fuck trucking fuck trucking but if you guys uh see my other video you know, trucking is a bitch, and I got a lust for it. So, <laughs> still out here dealing with the bullshit, but trucking is a bitch, and I got a lust for it. But at some point, you got to wonder is it worth dealing with all this, all the bullshit? But that's enough of me rambling, guys. I'm going to shut this video down. I'm going to get these uh, hats installed back on my axles and. Uh, and call it a day and then start fresh tomorrow that's all i got on this video guys i'm gonna go uh back in the truck and lick my wounds this is lone wolf trucking i'm signing out peace